We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. a bit of a cold so I mean bringing this here would be a little bit uh, <coughs> hard so we can back here loads of people running around how my engine roared the ventilation brings fresh air of the ship now it's quiet and dark at the ghost town huh I mean water water <coughs> mm. you know nose is a little bit fucked up too but throat's burning We came back to see if it's useful to crash, or if anything were to cover parts, or have those creatures attacked off a base. And only a few pelicans made off the item with supplies, and the majority all escaped in the life pods. But with all the fighting confusion we just took with supplies, and the majority of all escaped with the life pods. With all the fighting confusion, we just took uh, what we could carry. I pray to God no one was left the ship when it crashed. Yeah, other than the Covenant, of course. There is burn damage throughout, throughout it. When I entered the ring's atmosphere, some of the doors must have failed. The heat entry, the fire, some scorching heat down the halls. The entire place in the areas. I'm not on fire, must have baked anyone inside like an oven. The auxiliary power looks like it held through. So how the hell did uh, he survive? The entire place, not even the air is fire. Uh, now on, the merch light's still on. The luminous here looking here as well as some of the backup battery for the doors. We'll see what we can find as we go deeper into this godforsaken hellhole. Right. <laughs> you could drink water. Mm. Uh, there you go. Sorry to start off like this, but you know. Ah, feeling better. Uh, probably a good idea. You know, putting a wire, put like a, a wire underneath like a keyboard, so a keyboard bag of one. I mean, support, but would that matter? Honestly, I had the intention to give myself like a little bit of a kind of an up the ass or yeah. Hmm? Oh yeah, yeah, alright. I want this machine, that's what I want. And well, that's not what I want. Sure. I have an idea. I'm not sure. That's what I can do. It makes it look like a grenade.
systems. The terminal is located next to the main view screen. I don't know if this is going to be big on the, uh, you know what, the Sentinels, but hey, I guess whatever we spent. I leave home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. Ten minutes, huh? I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. Mm. You can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time! Human history, is it? Fascinating. Human history, huh? Oh, how well, I will enjoy every moment of its categorization! To think that you would destroy this installation as well as this record! I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. Yeah, we'll come on back. He stopped the self destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct! And I will endeavor to make your death relatively famous and- At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is it? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why- Okay, I'm coming with you. Why would you? Why would even? Chief, about the Sentinels.
The ship was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there.
There we go. Well, that's good news. We found one of the armories and the majority of you know, the weapons seems to work. Most importantly, we found flashlights to fix our helmets on the VIS, VISR modules. The ship is pitch black this far. No other way than that glow of the red emergency lights, but we're starting to dim the power as we get lower and lower. Well, I don't understand. We have very bodies, we just well, ugh. Portion of us made it off. And while we could, many could have been incinerated and the fires broke out, as have been, let's say, evaporated by all the heat. We'd expect to find some bodies, even the kind of ones left from our boarding parties, but we haven't found any of them. It freaks me out. Just hope uh, those things that attacked Alpha Base aren't here. We saw them infect the living. Why would they want to do something with the dead? Either way, something isn't right here. The fact is nearly pitch black doesn't help at all. We're getting deeper and deeper into the ship, the maintenance tunnel. From there, we can search the cargo vehicle base. Hopefully, the vehicles, I mean, hopefully, the supplies we need. I just hope we just find the supplies, the rest, the body, hopefully still dead. Uh, hopefully, right? Hopefully. Oh well. I mean, they, again, they have all the right not to be quite, uh, let's say, spooked out of all these. You know, the, the fire is something quite nasty. Ouch. Something quite nasty to worry about. Oh yeah, let's just get a move on. Ah, if I didn't catch my rocket launcher. Then again, I have this thing, so you know. I'm always just expanding the, uh... You know, the... Essentially dead when she found out the pod. Like this, I never even seen. When the the wound sustained on reach left her in a condition, 
if she saw it now, she would be dead within seconds. Uh, per article, f uh, 15% her, uh, her pod with all the remaining cryopods were ejected when the autumn began taking fire. Blue 2 is now floating in space. Funny that after that Spartan has been through, she ends up lost in space. The track is active. I fear soon there be no one left to hear. A cryopod must, must, should have power for a while. But they're prone to failure. Life support's functions fail. She just another rock floating in space. As we draw closer to this rigid world, I can't help but feel we are. This is merely our gun. With the James 05, declare MIA. Kelly 07, and Fred 104, likely dead. Chief is all we got. The last of Spartans. I just hope luck, luck holds this out. <laughs> Yeah. 
everything. One second I have no grenades, and the other second I have all the grenades. And then this. Eh, could be worse, I guess. It genuinely could be worse.
flip what? What? I'm not an Inca necrophilia. I'm not a necrophilia at all. Holy shit. I can't believe they actually wake up to do such a thing. Even though I mean I really like I really like I find thank you the thank you to be quite pretty sexy.
Let's go grab you, uh, grab a gun while the bombs are exploding. That's totally a very smart idea. I mean, oh shit. I'm doing it the right way.
get benches up here as well, too.
mostly, I think. Okay. I think of the button that I that I pressed once and uh
without them. Being able to toss them to the bottom of the ladder is a lifesaver. But I sure as hell didn't want to climb down there because that's where the bad news starts. We ran one of those creatures that attacked Alpha Base. <coughs> Not too many of them. One second. There's the smaller ones and some of them look like they were jackals. 
were jackals. Yeah, were once jackals. Well, uh, we took them down just fine. But all of us that creeped out is and the character that the body's being cocooned, like hung from the wall, from the ceilings, all sorts of weird gross on attached to them. We're keeping our distance and staying silent. We're just uh, making it into the sleeping quarters now. Lots well, of good men died here when they came to attack. This was the first of the areas to uh, start venting atmosphere. I paid the poor suckers who were sleeping to find no air filtering filling to their lungs. Now their body's still here, I'm disturbed for now. I got a feeling that one's going to last long. There's biomass growing all all over the second day ship. I'm just trying to get out of here or for our, our bad luck turns worse. Well, hey, I mean, do you know what I find funny? Because you know that these, uh, you know, the bodies that they're in their quote unquote beds, they seem to be quite, uh, let's say, I mean, they seem to be pretty much intact and whatnot. Which, of course, the considering how the ship came down, bed and whatnot, maybe the suffocation kind of destroyed their, uh, nervous system, or. Well, maybe that's just, you know, like a, to put a different model than the bodies of burnt and toasted bodies.
whatever the demon's intent, his actions will lead to only one thing. If she can deceive those who are in the holy ring, the fate of our governor relies on us here. We alone we must find him and kill him. I have notified the commander of the demon intents as request reinforcements. Banshees and phantoms are right on their way. We can already we will make sure this area is no is no air for the demon to run. No place he can hide. Deploy three parts of a uh, Makigolo. Keep the engine room. Wait what? Uh, Magalgolo. You mean Legolo? I don't know. Even the brave of the Zahangili would hesitate to confronting that. The demon is not brave, it's a coward. It is why it sucks in dark, fleeing from one battle and start another somewhere else. I will run free almost again, he does. I'll be waiting for him to drive my sword to his chest. The top of that is a dire threat to the great journey. Parasites no longer my concern, but the God's machine is my concern. One thing, Matter covenant the journey. <sighs> And that is now in more peril than ever before. I can't stop a single human. If I can't stop a single human, I am not working on walking the path. I'm right now, these are you bastards are. Look at this ugly bastard over there. Right, so where do I go from here? I go to the Go 
squid here, huh? Okay, good.
surrounding the fusion cells. Using explosives, I recommend a grenade or rocket. To run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Very good to know. Analyzing. That's one done. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. That's good. I didn't much break them.
complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cell. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyzing. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. Only one more fusion reactor to go. Critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a Class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! Tell me where to go. Negative, negative. We 
have a Wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. Motherfucker. Negative, negative. We have a Wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't do anything when it blows. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now! Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be there when it blows. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now! Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be here when it blows.
This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again. Evade. Roger. Roger. Evade. I see him. Wait one. Come on. Come on. Breaking right. Damn. Too late. I'm hit. Echo 419! She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. Yeah. I have to push for a bug you know, to make it over there in, in less than two minutes and a half.
We're cutting it close! Here we go. Down. We'll need them later. Yeah. Fancy a look? make it. No, Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. SPV3. Was it stressful for me? Yes. Was it fun? Yes. Did I enjoy? Yes. But anyways, I mean, this mod has been, has been let's say, uh, in all, in all, let's say, uh, in a labor of love ever since, like, Halo come to Vault came out. It's a lot of fun, yes. Quite challenging at times. Especially if something's gonna be quite a bit of a dick to you. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. I hope you guys, I hope you guys next time and uh, until then.